Welcome fellow do-it-yourselfers. Uh, this is a video for the general car concept series and we're going to discuss lug nuts. I was uh, walking my dog and for some reason I looked at this car and this this car uh, these are actually tires off the front and rear uh, of that car and let's see if you can find out what is different about these two tires it's not the tire it's not the wheel it's not the Schrader valve it's not the wheel weight it's the lug nuts this is the these are installed backwards let's talk about that why, do, why does it matter again lug nuts are directional um, and it's important they're installed correctly there's a uh, proper direction to install them and a proper installation technique let's go over that so let's look at a common lug nut if you notice most uh, you know nuts are, are flat on both sides but lug nuts are different they have a conical part to them that's what makes them directional that conical part goes into the wheel there's actually a variety of different kinds of lug nuts and here's uh, an example of some of them but they all have something in common they all go into the wheel if you notice they always have a seating portion into the wheel why that is used to center the lug nut onto the lug onto the wheel that way they're all one piece there's no way they can move you don't want the wheel being able to slide any bit against that lug nut. Let's look at a wheel. This is a wheel for the common conical type lug nut and if you notice in each hole for the lug where the lug goes through and the lug nut goes into there's the conical portion that's the female portion of the lug nut. That's what helps centers the wheel under the lug and the lug nut and prevents rotation when you're changing directions. If you don't install the the lug nut properly you'll have a flat surface against a flat surface right because nothing will be going into this conical area and these holes are not exact over the lug there is some space so it is possible that that wheel can move back and forth forth against that lug nut and either loosen it or and or elongate that lug nut hole not good so let's talk about installation now we know the direction to install the lug nut again the conical portion goes in towards the wheel always hand start them always torque down the lug nut um, you can find your torque specification usually in your owner's manual they range from I don't know 90 foot-pounds to 120 foot-pounds but again uh, I've seen some up at, up at 150 and I've seen some lower again please look at your owner's manual depends you know if you have aluminum alloy steel whatever and you want to tighten them in a star, star pattern so I also install them in a star pattern so let's give an example let's assume I start with this lug nut I would then go to this one next once that's hand tight all the way down I would then go to this one do the same that one and then this one I um, hand torque them down I then use a t-type tire iron to spin them on and then I use a torque wrench or torque sticks to to torque them down and I'm constantly doing this star pattern and sometimes I I rotate the star pattern so let's say at one of the steps I start here I might make this number one then this would be number two well, so over and so on I'll have another video on how I actually do it but if you don't rotate you're okay just make sure they're centered the wheel is and you're all the way inside the the conical uh, section of every uh, every uh, lug you'll be great and torque it down it is important to get that torque right if it's too loose 
um, it is possible that uh, they will, uh, due to temperature changes and uh, just the rotational forces, that they could come off. Not good. And if you put them on too tight, you can also have an issue. Um, they might actually shear off the lug. Um, this was common for, for a while there. A lot of tire places, they would just, you know, ape them on. And what would happen is you stre stretched that lug and they would snap off. It weakened the lug and it would snap. So it is important. Uh, another reason to properly and evenly torque all the lug nuts is so you don't warp your rotor or drum of your braking system. Um, so these are sort of the general uh, concepts of, of lug nut installation. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the information helpful.